Hello. This question is about Darcy's law. The question is a cylindrical column contains 50 cm of sand over 50 cm of clay. Here you have a sand layer overlaying the clay layer. The pressure head at the interface between sand and clay is 50 cm. Okay, that's the pressure head. Uh, the column is saturated and 20 cm of water is maintained on the top here while the bottom is open to the atmosphere. The measured water flux flowing out of the column is 20 cm per hour. Calculate the saturated hydraulic conductivity of the sand and the clay respectively and the effective hydraulic conductivity of the column. Okay, so, so this is your column. This is uh, clay, that is sand, and here you have water. Here you have water, and that is 20 centimeter, and here is 50, the other one as well is 50. So let's uh, name this point, this level point 1, here point 2, and here point 3. Okay? And you have the pressure head at the interface between sand and clay as 50 centimeter. Okay? So, to solve this question, you first need to calculate the hydraulic head at point 1, point 2, and point 3. Okay? And we know the hydraulic head is equal to the pressure potential plus the gravitational potential. Okay? Therefore, for point 1 here, and let's assume the reference level is here at the bottom of this column, Okay, so for point one, since the water is introduced to the atmosphere, the pressure potential is equal to zero, and since the reference level as is, since point one is located at the reference level, size is equal to zero, therefore H1 is equal to zero. H2 again will be equal to psi p plus psi z. At point two, we know the psi p is 50, that's given in the question, plus psi z. And we know this length is 50 centimeter and this is 50 centimeter. So gravitational head at this point is, uh, will be 50 because this point of interest is 50 centimeter above the reference level. Plus 50, that will be 100 centimeter. That is centimeter. And H3 will be equal to, again, psi p plus psi z. And at this point, uh, psi z, gravitational head is 100. 50 plus 50 is 100. Okay. And the pressure potential is the, uh, it will be equal to 20 centimeter because that's the vertical distance between point of interest and free water surface. That is 20, which will be 120. Okay, so now you have the values uh, of the hydraulic head at point 1, 2, 3. You can calculate the hydraulic conductivity as uh, it is following. So from Darcy's law, you know that Q is equal to. Uh, and in the question, the Q value is given already, 20 centimeter per hour, okay? And that is the flux through the clay, through the sand, through the entire column. So Q, since it is downward, equal to minus 20, will be equal to minus uh, K for sand, okay? Let's write the Dorsey's law for the sand layer here, okay? So that will be minus K times H3 minus H2 divided by Z3 minus z2 okay and that will be equal to minus k sand times h3 is 120 minus h200 that will be 20 divided by z3 that is 100 minus z2 at this point is 50 so 100 minus 50 will be 50 so minus 20 is equal to minus k times 20 divided by 50 and then you can simply calculate k sand equal to um, 50 centimeter per hour, okay? Uh, so you can do the same for the, for the clay layer, that is Q again, minus 20 is equal to minus K clay times, uh, <clears throat> here it will be H2 minus H1 divided by Z2 minus Z1, which will be equal to minus K clay times H2 is 100, H1 is 0, 100 minus 0 will be 100, Z2 is 50, Z1 is 0, 50 minus 0 is 50. 
So minus 20 is equal to minus k 100 divided by 50. And therefore, k clay will be equal to 10 centimeter per hour. Okay? So that is for the sand and that is for the clay. So the question was about uh, calculate the saturated hydraulic conductivity of sand that we did the clay, uh, and the clay that we did and the effective hydraulic conductivity of the column. That's the last part of the question. So for the, for the hydraulic con effective hydraulic conductivity of the column, then you can write the Darcy's law between 0.3 and 0.1. So that, that is again, Q is equal to minus 20 times, uh, minus, 20, that minus 20 is the flux equal to minus K effective, okay, which we don't know, we want to calculate, times the hydraulic head at the 0.3, that is H3, and we calculated that as 120, right? 100 or you can write it H3 minus H1 divided by Z3 minus Z1, which will be equal to minus K effective times, instead of H3, I write 120 minus H1, 0, that will be 120, divided by Z3, that is here, uh, which is 100 minus Z1, that is 0. So 100 minus 0 will be 100, okay? And that is equal to minus 20. Therefore, uh, therefore, uh, K effective will be equal to 16.67 uh, uh, centimeter per hour. Okay, and that is the final answer.